Hello there, it's Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astronomerologist. Welcome to your weekly astronomerology forecast. This one is for November 7th through the 13th, and it's a really, really big week. This forecast is for all signs because it covers selected highlights in the astrology and numerology that are applicable to everyone. So, like I said, this is a big week. It's Eclipse Week, and the first highlight of the week happens on the 7th, the day before the eclipse. That's when Venus squares Saturn, and so you definitely want to spend time by yourself and get into that inner serenity, especially regarding preparing for the eclipse and being grounded and feeling that inner peace and guard against wasting precious resources on trivial things. You know, Saturn wants to make things really real and feeling just a sense of overcoming your your fears and not being resistance to them. And then we have the eclipse on the 8th. Now, the 8th echoes November's 8th universal month. So it's a double 8 activation, which is very much about empowerment, leadership, taking responsibility for your life, the infinity number. And this eclipse is at 16 degrees with the sun and moon at 16 degrees. Uranus conjunct the moon in Taurus at 16 degrees. So there are three 16s, but the numerology code adds up to 16 as well. So 11, 8, 20, 22 adds up to 16. So we have a quadruple 16, which is all about changes and shifts, breakthroughs, sudden events, unexpected situations. So be very, very prepared and grounded and don't get into the drama. Keep breathing. This is a really, really big one because of Scorpio also being involved. The sun is conjunct Venus and Mercury. There's really so much energy and there's a T-square to Saturn as well. And Saturn is all about timing and destiny and the time has come. And so we want to be in a place where we are very aware that we can help the situation through staying peaceful, strong, in integrity, just honoring who we are at soul level. So this will be a really profound experience and to really partake in this incredible eclipse, go to my website, tanyagabriel.com and I will have the full forecast for you there. Now the next highlight happens on Wednesday the 9th. This is when the sun is opposite Uranus and that actually is activated during the eclipse the day prior. So that brings tremendous shifts, personal shifts, the ability to set yourself free if you're open to change, open to just being very flexible and willing to uh, use your intuition, using your heart instead of your mind and trusting in the process of the awakening itself, which is really what Uranus is about. It's the awakening planet. And then finally on 11-11, that date comes around once a year and is so profound when that 11-11 portal opens. And uh, this year the portal opens onto the number 10, the instant manifestation number, the number of love and light. And there are lots of ones in this code. So new beginnings after the eclipse, you'll, you'll feel like you can restart and take all those insights and move into something more profound and real for you. And today the sun is square Saturn that is on the 1111 day. And that means your, your inner light, the sun and Saturn responsibilities and boundaries are in a tense relationship, which may bring some restriction. Now, restriction does not mean anything negative. It just means that you're supposed to focus on what is really, really important and not be distracted. So it's not so good to procrastinate or worry. It's really important to work diligently on things like projects or whatever is coming up for you in your life and not ignore it. And it, when you do that, your self-confidence absolutely soars. Remember that November is an eight universal month, so full of confidence. So if you want to know more about just how the stars and numbers work and how to master your own stars, go to spiritualmasteryclass.com. That class is so special. It's free and basically it helps you to change your life by discovering the truth of your inner star and taking your power back. 
So I think that this class would be a really good one to take during the eclipse week. So again, you can go to spiritualmasteryclass.com. So enjoy that. Have a beautiful week. And I will see you in next week's forecast.